Hey, y'all. Tony from Ropes and Wings. Hey, I just want to introduce this next video, and I want to thank my client for giving us the permission to use this video. Uh, these videos, these sessions help so many people um, because they resonate. They similar issues and, and problems that we might encounter, they resonate. They actually provide a bit of healing for the people listening to it as well. But in this uh, video, we've talked to the Palladians, which was an absolute pleasure. Um, and we found out that they uh, that's part of her galactic family. Uh, they have an implant there to help monitor her progress uh, through this lifetime. And we got a lot of good information from them. Did a lot of healing, removed a lot of entities. It was a beautiful session, beautiful healing session. So I hope you enjoy. Hope it resonates. And again, thank you so much from my client for allowing me to post this video and share it. And if you'd like to book a session with me, click on the description and uh, follow my links to book a session. I'd love to see you soon. I'd love to help you out as well. And uh, I love you all very much. Enjoy. Talk to you soon. Pass your awareness down the body, starting at the head. And let me know if you find anything. I don't see anything. How about feelings? Do you feel anything in the body that should not be there? Any dense energy? Not at this moment, I don't. Mm -hmm. let's, let's focus on the throat area. Let's focus on that throat area. Really feel into that area and sense into that area. Let me know if you have any sensations or feelings there it's kind of warm mm -hmm. let's go ahead and let's have archangel michael place his net of white light around that area that feels warm in the throat area all the way around where that energy is attached and as we focus deeper on that warmth around the throat area what color do you sense that to be orange and I'd like to speak to that orange energy that's causing that warmth in the throat area. It's made itself known. I'd like to speak to it. If it had anything to say, what would it say? I don't think it has anything to say. Mm -hmm. And as you look deeper and focus deeper on that feeling of warmth in the throat, what do you sense there? you sense that it has a consciousness we need to speak to, or is it something else? I'm not feeling anything at all, like any consciousness or... Mm -hmm. I'm feeling warmth, though. Beautiful. Let's have the angels that are gathered around us today. Let them have them help us. And let's ask them what this is, this warmth in the throat. What do they say? In here? Yes, in the throat. What do the angels say about the throat? What is this warmth that we're feeling here? Just give me the first things that pop or come up into the mouth or the third eye. What is your first impressions? I don't know if I'm deep enough or not. Mm -hmm. It feels so, that way. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your first impression when we focus on that throat? What's the it's first just thing? It's messed up. Mm -hmm. and why is it messed up? She hasn't been able to speak. Yes. Thank you for speaking to me today. Why hasn't she been able to speak? She's been suppressed. How has she been suppressed? Uh, I think by her father. Mm -hmm. And how did that happen? How did she get suppressed by her father? In childhood. Yes. And what happened? Let's go back to that time when he first suppressed her in childhood. 
What had happened? Let's look at that event. He had a lot of anger. Mm -hmm. What? The island. Yes. Tell me more about that event, that anger, that violence that caused her to suppress her speech. She was thrown up against the wall. Mm -hmm. And how old was she? Five or four. Yes. Yeah. And how did that affect her when she was thrown up against the wall at five? Her fine sadness. Yes. What other issues has it caused? It's caused her not to speak. It's caused her sadness. What other issues has this caused? Abandonment. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, just sadness in her heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how has this affected her speech? How has this suppressed her speech? Just not being able to speak your mind. Mm -hmm. Afraid to speak up. Yes. And has this affected the issues that she's had in the throat all these years with the surgeries yes. and the thyroid issues? Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for helping us. Who am I speaking with today? I believe it's my higher self. Beautiful. I'm glad that you come and join us today and are working with us today. What do we need to do to help repair or heal this throat area? It needs to be cleared. Beautiful. And what is in there that we can clear? Dark, dark energy. Mm -hmm. And this dark energy that's there, is this an entity or is this something else? I'm not seeing it as an entity. Yes. But negative energy. Yes. And what would you like to use today to remove this dark energy, to clear this blockage from the throat? Vibration. 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 Beautiful. And what color would you like to use for the vibration to remove this dark energy? I'm seeing a purple blue. Beautiful. I'm going to strike the blue tuning fork first. Let's focus that frequency into that throat area, washing away. Focus that frequency in there. As that swirls outward, the cells come back online. Just washing away that dark energy like a power washer. Just cleansing it, clearing it. You can feel the throat opening up, the speech coming back in, your self-awareness. Those feelings that no longer serve us just fall, fall away. As everything becomes clearer, that throat area becomes brighter with that beautiful, brilliant blue light. Now I'm going to strike the purple tuning fork and let's focus that frequency in there and cleanse anything else remaining. Focus that vibration in there. Clearing about any remnants. Sending it out to the universe, changing it into high frequency and vibration. You can feel your intuition, your decision-making, your inner guidance coming back online. How does that feel now since we sent those vibrations and frequency in? It feels cooler. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and this scene that started these issues... Let's go ahead and flood that scene with white light. Let's flood that scene with white light. And let's change that scene into what you would like to see. Change that scene. What would you like to see happen? A peaceful, of... peaceful dinner. Beautiful. Beautiful. And envision that peaceful dinner. Mm -hmm. What else do you see happening? Changes that scene. Laughter. Beautiful. And laughter helps the throat open up even more. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? Just good food on the table. 
Beautiful. Now, how is seeing all this change, this event, how does this affect us? Makes it more pleasant. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's let's go ahead and take a box. Let's take a could be a cardboard box or a wooden box with a lid on it, and let's take that box. And let's take all those emotions that no longer serve us, that came from this incident, the ones we got rid of. Let's feel those emotions. And as you feel them, place them in the box. We are going to get rid of them and let them release them. Place them all into the box as you feel them. Let me know when that is done. It's done. Beautiful. And what color light? We're going to burn this box. We're going to release it, change it into high frequency, these emotions. What color light do you want to set a fire to this box? Yellow. Beautiful. I'm going to strike the tuning fork for the color yellow. I want you to light that box of fire, lighting it a fire. Watch it going up in flames and burning down into ash as the smoke goes up into the universe and changed into high frequency and vibration to be used elsewhere in the universe. Everything changing, alchemizing, disappearing, burning away. We no longer need these emotions. They no longer serve us. This happened a long time ago. We turned out very well. And we can tell that younger version of ourself, that five-year-old that experienced this incident, that everything is okay. We've changed that event into a pleasant event. Alchemized it. How does that feel now? Clear. Beautiful. Is that box completely gone? Yes. Beautiful. I'd like to speak to the higher self again. How did that affect her throat. Is there anything else in the throat blocking the throat? Any devices or AI? She has metal plates, but that's from her surgery. Yes. So the throat is clear at this time? Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Could you do a scan of this one's body and make sure that we don't have any other blockages? She's had several issues and different places. I want to focus on the solar plexus, the right leg, and the left ear. She actually has something in the middle of her back. Yes. What, is, what sensation does she get in the middle of her back? Extreme pain. Pain. Beautiful. And is this a consciousness we need to speak with? I'm not for sure. It, Yes. When this one, when you focus on your back, this extreme pain in the back, what color do you sense this to be? Brown. Brown. Let's have Archangel Michael place that net of white light around this painful area, this brown energy in the back, all the way around where this energy is attached. And as we focus deeper on this brown energy causing the extreme pain in the back, I want to speak to it. Find out what its story is. If it had anything to say, what would it say? Just allow those words to flow up. I'm here to stay. I know that you're here to stay, but this is a free will universe and you don't have permission to be there. This one has asked me here to help her and you don't have permission to be there. Do you ever remember a time I have in a human body? No, I don't. Who sent you here then to this one? I really don't know. Yes. But I move. Mm -hmm. Where do you move to? Up and down the spine. I see. Let's have Archangel Michael take that, that light and completely surround this energy where it's at in the spine. And what is it that you do there in the spine? Create havoc. Yes. Why do, create, you 
Great but, pain. Yes. Why do you create havoc and pain in this one? Because it's fun, too. It's fun. Did someone tell you to do this? To keep this one down? Were you sent here? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't so, know. Yes. So you create havoc and pain in this one's body. And you do it for fun. It's pretty interesting. Why do you do that? Because she has the light. Mm -hmm. Why do you not like the light so much? I like it where it's dark. Mm -hmm. I see. And why did you, why do you like the dark? Did someone, yes. Did someone tell you that you're of the dark? I just am. I see. And how old was she when you were able to get to this one? In her teenage years. Yeah. So what was going on in her life? What allowed you to get in there? She had trauma. Heart, heartbreak. Yes. And that allowed you to get in easily, didn't it? Yeah, she was super sad. Mm-hmm. And so you feel you're of the dark. Why is it that you want to create that havoc and pain in this one? Just to keep her light down? It's, I feed off of it. You feed off the light too? I so, feed off, yes, her, her light. Yeah. And so since you don't know who sent you here or gave you this job, what if I told you, that you are of the light and you have your own internal power source that you don't need to feed off this one's light anymore. What do you think about that? What well, I've been here for so long. Yes. It's the only thing you know, isn't it? It's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. You see, and what issues have you caused? You caused the pain, make the havoc. What else do you do? What issues have you caused to this one to keep your light down? I got so much pain she can't breathe. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? What else? I like to move around. I can go up into her neck. I can. Mm -hmm. She hates it when I go into the middle back. Yeah. She can't breathe. Uh huh. What other issues do you cause in this one? Just pain mainly. Mm hmm. Yes. And are you there by yourself doing all this, or is there something else with you? As far as I know, I'm by myself. Yeah. And so I have the angels gathered around you. They're going to give you a message or show you an image of what your journey is going to look like after you detach from this one, because you can't stay there. What do they tell you or show you? It's time to go. Mm -hmm. What else do they say? That we will help you on your journey. Beautiful. Let's have them show you an image of what your journey is going to look like after you detach from this one. What do they show you? Light energy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What do you think about that? What do you feel about that light energy? It's very positive. Yes. And can we show you that you are of the light? You just forgot and lost that? Or maybe you were created and never told you how to. Can we show you that today? Yes. Beautiful. I want you to look deep inside your beingness. I want you to look for that tiny spark. We're all going to share a light with you so you can see that spark. But it's going to be tiny. I want you to find that spark deep inside yourself. Tell me when you find it. It's found. Beautiful. Let's expand that spark out to be larger than what you are. Completely surround yourself in your own internal power source. You've had this light all along. 
This is your own internal power source. You don't need to feed off anybody for this light. How does that light feel to you? Warmth. Beautiful. And are you ready to move with the angels so you can heal and continue on that journey as a light frequency? Yes. Beautiful. In a moment, I'm going to count backwards from three to one. We're going to send a pulse of blue light through that net. This is going to help you to detach. I want you to help the angels place all your energy into that net. I have you wrapped in so we can gently lift you out. I want this one to feel this energy detaching and lifting off as we do this. Three, sending that pulse of blue light through the net, swirling through the net. Detaching, placing the energy into the net, filling that net up. This one's feeling it detaching as we're doing this. Beautiful. It's all in the net now. Let's gently lift out now two, almost out, and one out in the light of source with the angels. But before you go, is there anything that you would like to tell this one? I'm sorry. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Is there anything this one would like to tell this energy before it goes? No. Beautiful. As we cut that final cord between these two and we watch that energy go with the angels to heal and continue on its journey, what color light can we bring in for healing for you? Green. Beautiful. Let's strike the green tuning fork. I want you to focus that frequency in there. Those lower density feelings of pain just fall away. That havoc you felt just fall away as that swirls outward. The cells come back online. It's beginning to heal. You can feel that love, connection, that compassion, forgiveness, self-confidence, inner power come back in. Your sensuality, your creativity, your joy comes flooding in as those energy centers start to spin, pulsate, and become brighter. That connection is reestablished to the divine. You're able to speak your truth, connected to the heart, your inner guidance. It's all coming back online. How does that feel since we remove that energy? It's spacious. Beautiful. Beautiful. And anytime you feel that spacious or need to heal, you can focus that green energy in there. And we're going to ask Archangel Raphael to assist with the healing. This is his ray, the green energy. We're going to have him assist with the healing. And we're going to continue while he's doing that and scan the body looking for any low-level energy, any dense energy that should not be there, any feelings or sensations, pain or discomfort. Let me know if you find anything. A sense of darkness in my stomach. Mm -hmm. Let's have Archangel Michael place that net of white light around the darkness in the stomach. What sensation do you get with that darkness in the stomach? Like a filling sensation? Mm -hmm. How does that it's, darkness feel? Almost like a sadness. Yes. And that net is all the way around that energy causing the sadness in that stomach area. It's As like we, to, the, to the right of my abdomen. Beautiful. As we focus deeper on that sadness that's there in the stomach. What color do you sense that to be? Blackish. Mm -hmm. I'd like to speak to this black energy. I'd like to speak to it. Speak to you. I know it doesn't want to speak to me. You're in this conversation. This is a free will universe and you don't have permission to be there in this one. What are you doing there in this one? Hiding. Why are you hiding from me? I'm just hiding. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing in this one? Assumption. Assumption. Beautiful. Consumption, yes. Consumption. Do you ever remember a time I have in a human body? I do. Tell me a bit about yourself. What name did they used to call you when you had a human body? Joy. It's good to speak to you, Joy. What age were you when you left your human body? 27. Mm -hmm. And what year was it when you left your human body at 27, Joy? 1948. Joy, what happened in 1948 that caused you to come out of your human body? 
Sure. You were drunk driving, and were you driving? I was passenger. Mm -hmm. And who was driving the car? A man. And who was this man to you? I want to say, um, not a boyfriend, mm -hmm. but someone I liked. Yes. And when you guys were drunk driving, was there anybody else with you in the car or just that man? Just us two. Mm -hmm. And when you come off the road, what did you hit? A tree. A tree. And what part of your body was impacted the most, Joy? My stomach. Yes. When you are whole, we're going to have the angels to help heal you. You are whole. When you got hit in the stomach in this car accident, when you hit the tree and you come up out of the body, where did you go to? I wondered. You wondered. How was it that you found this one? What attracted you to her? Her laughter. Mm hmm and how, Go ahead. Yes, her laughter, her light, mm -hmm. and her sense of joy. Yes. And how old was she and what was she going through in her life at that time? She was, it was a teenager. Mm -hmm. and what was she going through at that time? What issues was she having in her life? She was um, heartbroken mm -hmm. and she consumed a bunch of birth control pills mm -hmm. with alcohol. Yes. And she was passed out. Yes. And sick in the stomach. Mm -hmm. And so since you were attracted to her life, her light and her laughter, and you didn't have a vehicle. That's what, why you attached to her? Yes. Yes. It was safe. Mm -hmm. I see. And you needed a place to be. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for that, Joy. I want to help heal you both, Joy. I'm going to help heal you both, but I'd like to know what issues that you've caused this one since you've attached. I know you didn't really mean to, but what issues have you caused her since you attached to her? She became a consumer like me. Mm -hmm. What else? But what? Go ahead. She could become a consumer like me, but she also, um, because of where I was located, mm -hmm. I, she had an ovary removed mm -hmm. on that side. Yes. And you caused that ovary to go bad and had to be removed? I don't think I caused it, but I irritated it. I see. I see. What else, Joy? What other issues so we can help you both heal? She, I just attached because she likes to drink. Yeah. Do you, did you cause any other health issues or feeling issues? How did you make her feel? Sad. Mm -hmm. anything else that's why she drinks she gets sad yes and anything. I like to I like her to feel lonely I see isolated mm -hmm. I like to isolate her yeah because you don't want her to be with anybody else no yes what other issues do you cause is there anything else Joy That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you used to smoke, Joy, when you were had a body? Yes, I smoked. Yes. Do you encourage her to smoke as well? Absolutely. Yes. So you can encourage her to consume alcohol and smoke? Matter of fact, it was the same. It, she started smoking immediately. Yes. Beautiful. We're going to help you all from that. Is there anything else, Joy, or is that she, about it? She she hated 
she hated cigarette smoke. Mm -hmm. But once I got in, she yeah. wanted to have a smoke. Beautiful. We're going to help you both heal from that. Are you ready for us to help you, Joy? Help me where? We're going to help you to transition. Go with the angels and go back and heal so you can continue on another journey. You could come back in another human body if you choose. I'm too afraid. Let's have the angels. I like, get... I like it here. I know it's comfortable, but you can't stay there. It's not the place to be. You could have your own body and do whatever you choose with it. Doesn't that sound like a better option? Depends on what kind of body I get. Well, you'd be able to choose. Let's have the angels that are gathered around you show you or give you a message on what your journey is going to look like after you detach. What you might choose. What do they show you or tell you? I'm in a beautiful white dress. Beautiful. What else? A lot of, a lot of sunlight. Mm -hmm. Fields of flowers. Yes. Even okay. have a hat on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Beautiful. How does that feel to you, Joy? Freedom. Uh-huh. Do you miss that freedom? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for us to help you now? Yes. Help you back to that freedom. Beautiful. What I'd like you to do, Joy, is on that day that you come out of the human body in that car accident while you were drunk driving and hit that tree, you come out of the human body and just wondered. I don't want you to wonder. I want you to stay there. I want you to look around, look all the way around you for that light of source. It'll be a light that pulls you towards it like a many, many magnets. It was at nighttime in the fog. Yes. Tell me when you find that light that draws you towards it, the light of source. I can see it. You see that light. Why is it that you didn't go into that light on that night? I didn't know what it was. I see. So what I want you to do is I want you to focus in on that light, and the angels will help you focus in on that light. And when you look into that light, who do you see there waiting to help you on your journey? It's small right now. Yeah, let's make it bigger. That's so she, Joy can see into this light. Who's waiting there for you to help guide you home? My mom. What's your mom say to you, Joy? She's holding her hand out. Uh-huh. What else does she say? It's time. Beautiful. How do you feel about that, Joy? I miss my mom. Yeah. Are you ready to go be with your mom so you can heal I'm and continue so another journey? Absolutely. Yes. Beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count backwards from three to one. We're going to send a pulse of blue light through the net. I want you to help the angels, Joy, place your energy into that net. And completely detach from this one. That blue light's going to help you to detach. It might tickle a little bit, but place all your energy into that net. I want this one to feel the energy of Joy start to detach and lift off and release. Three, sending that pulse of blue light through the net, swirling through the net. Detaching, Joy's placing your energy into the net with the help of the angels. It's all being put in. This one's starting to feel the energy start to detach and lift off. It's all in the net now. Let's gently lift out now, too. Almost out. And one, out in the lightest source with her mother. But Joy, before you go, is there anything you would like to tell this one? Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Joy. Is there anything this one would like to tell Joy before she goes? I understand, and you are forgiven. Beautiful. And as we cut that final cord between Joy and this one, cutting that final cord, and as we watch Joy go into the light of source with her mother to heal and continue on her journey, what color light can we place there for healing for you? Pink. What color would you like to use? Pink. Beautiful. I'm going to strike the tuning fork for the color pink. I want you to place that frequency there. Flooding that area. All those lower density feelings that were not are the consuming, the loneliness, the sadness, just fall away. As that frequency swirls upwards, the cells come back online. 
your independence and your strength, your stability and security, your creativity and joy, your self-confidence, your inner power, that loving connection, your self-awareness, your intuition and inner guidance, that connection to the higher self and the divine. So those energy centers start glowing brighter and brighter. All those feelings are falling away. How does that feel since we started that healing? Like cotton candy, fluffy. Yeah. Beautiful <laughs> cotton candy. Let's ask Quan Yen to assist with the healing of this area. To continue healing that area. Making it whole again. And if you ever feel any emptiness or any feelings... You can focus that pink frequency into that area. Continue to heal that. Let's continue with our scan and scan down the body. Looking for any low-level energy that should not be there. Pain, sensations, feelings, discomfort. Let me know if you find anything. There's a pain on the foot. Mm -hmm. Which, Which foot? The right foot. On the top. Mm-hmm. This pain in the foot. Let's have Archangel Michael place his net of white light around the pain in the foot on the right, on the top, all the way around where this energy is attached. And as we focus deeper on that energy causing the pain in the foot on the top, what color light can you sense this to be? I sense it to be orange, but I think it's a tendon problem. Mm-hmm. Let's focus deeper on this orange and the pain on the foot. I'd like to speak to it. If it had anything to say, what would it say to me? I keep her grounded. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. How do you keep her grounded? Or do you keep her ungrounded? I keep her ungrounded. Yes. Do you ever remember a time of having a human body? No, I do not. Mm -hmm. And who sent you here to keep her ungrounded? The darkness. Yes. And why did the darkness want to keep this one ungrounded? Because her light is is shiny. Mm -hmm. She's got a a large shine of light to the Mm -hmm. world. Yes. And why does the darkness want to keep that light down in this one? She is a very bright light. Why do they want to keep that down? Because it helps the frequency of the earth Mm -hmm. to stay low. Yes, and you want to keep it low so that light doesn't come in. Yes. We do this to many. Yes. I understand that. And why do you do this to so many people? keeping them ungrounded and keeping that light coming in. I think our best invention was the rubber soul. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's no connection. Right. Beautiful. And how old was this one and what was going on in her life when you were able to attach? It was just recently. Mm-hmm. I see. What was going on in her life when this were you able to attach? She's trying to ascend. That's when they sent you in to make sure that she stayed ungrounded. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about yourself. What else do you do to keep her ungrounded and keep that light from coming in? We speak this big fear of spiders in her, so she doesn't want to go. Stand in the grass. I see. That sounds reasonable. Anything else other than that fear of the spiders? She would go out barefooted if she wasn't afraid of spiders. Mm -hmm. So we keep that up. Yes. What other issues do you cause? What issues does this cause in this one by keeping her ungrounded? It's a pretty unique plan that you have going. It's, it's, we like to cause that because there are so many people wanting to ascend. She's not the only one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And so what is there any other issues that you cause other than keeping her for fear of grounding? That's pretty much my job. That's your only job? And that job has to be getting kind of boring here now because she is ascending and her light's getting brighter. It has to be harder. Is that correct? It is harder, yes. Mm -hmm. What did the darkness tell you about the light? To be inferior. Mm -hmm. Yes. They want you to they want you to think that they're below them because if you realize that you are of the light as well, you'd be more powerful than that darkness. They control us. Yes, they do control us. Aren't you tired of being controlled as well? It's just our job. I know, it's your job. Those angels that are gathered around you, they have a message for you or what your journey is going to look like after you detach from this one. What do they show you or tell you? That I am of the light. Mm -hmm. I've lost my way. Yes, you are. How does that feel to know that? More powerful. Mm -hmm. Can we show you where that light is? I think the darkness switches it off. No, it's still there. They can't switch it off completely. But they hide it. They hide it and they can... can convince you and lie to you and deceive you into thinking you're of the darkness so you don't even see it. Can we show you where that's at? Peace. Beautiful. I want you to look deep inside your beingness. I'm not sure what you look like, but look deep inside your beingness. You'll find a tiny spark and we're sharing our light with you so you can see that spark. Tell me when you find that spark. It's like a flame. Mm -hmm. oh, let's, let's fan that light. Let's make that flame bigger. Let's completely wrap you in that flame. This is your own internal power source. How does that light feel? Warm. Beautiful. Do you remember this feeling now? There's a, there isn't a rem remembrance. Mm-hmm. Do you remember how that feels, huh? It's very inviting. Yes. So are you ready to, for us to help you detach from this one so you can continue on a journey of your choosing, not being controlled by the darkness any longer? Uh, are you sure it's safe? It is safe. They can't get, now that you realize that you have light within you, that darkness can't touch you anymore. Unless you let it, it can't, it can't get to you. You're more powerful than the darkness. Do you understand that? Well, I have assistance and protection. Yes. We can ask the angels. What do the angels say about that? They are wrapping around their energy. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So you're ready to go with the angels so you can heal and continue on a journey that you choose? Yes, I am. Beautiful. In a moment, I'm going to count backwards from three to one. We're going to send a pulse of blue light through that net. This is going to help you to detach. I want you to help the angels place all your energy and detach from this one. And I want this one to feel this energy lifting off as we do this. Three, sending that pulse of blue light swirling through the net. Swirling through the net, detaching, placing the energy into the net. It's all being placed into the net. It's all in there. Let's gently lift out now, two, almost out, and one, out in the light of source with the angels. But before you go, is there anything that you'd like to tell this one? Don't be afraid mm -hmm. of the grass. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is there anything this one would like to tell this energy before it goes? I just wish you well. Beautiful. As we cut that final cord between these two, cutting that final cord, as we watch that energy go with the angels to heal and continue on its journey, what color light can we bring in for healing for you? I'm thinking green. Beautiful. I'm going to strike the tuning fork for the color green. I want you to place that frequency there. 
placing it there. All those lower density feelings of being ungrounded just fall away. You can feel your stability and your security and your independence and strength coming back in as that connection to the earth is reestablished again. You can feel the energy of Mother Earth coming up through like it's supposed to. You can feel your creativity and your joy, your sensuality all coming back online. Your self-confidence, your inner power, your loving connection, your self-awareness, your intuition, your decision-making that connection to source and the higher self coming all back online. Beautiful. How does that feel since we started the healing to that area? My foot is cold. (laughs) Beautiful. (laughs) Let's ask Archangel Raphael to help heal and and warm that foot back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. And as he's doing that, let's continue with our scan. Looking for any low-level energy, any dense energy that shouldn't be there, feelings or sensations, pain or discomfort. Let me know if you find anything. I definitely have something in my leg, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Which leg is this? Your right calf area. So let's have Archangel Michael place his net of white light around the right calf, the right leg, all the way around where this energy is attached. And when you focus deeper on this energy that's there, you get a painful sensation with this energy. What does it feel like? It's itchy. Itchy. And when you focus deeper on this itchy in the right calf, the right leg, that itchy feeling there, what color do you sense this to be? Gray. And I'd like to speak to this gray energy causing the itching in the right calf and the leg area. I'd like to speak to it. If it had anything to say, what would it say? It doesn't have anything to say. Mm -hmm. When you focus deeper on that, what does that energy look like? This looks like some kind of device or something. Yes. A gray device. Mm -hmm. But this gray device, you see where... It's very skinny. It's like a pen or something. Yes. And when we focus deeper on that, using all of our knowing, who would place this device Palladians? Mm-hmm. Let's, as we focus deeper on that, the Palladian place device, what do you sense about this device? Is this device? I think it's you? to track me. Beautiful. And it, is this device for your best and highest good? It's benevolent. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And what else does it do? What else? What's your connection to the Palladians that place this device to track? Why are they tracking you? Why are they keeping tabs? They're helping me. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Watching me. Yes. Are we able to speak to the Palladians that place this device so we can understand it? What do they say? Just give us a moment. Thank you. They say that this this tracking device is what we need to have in order to know to track where she's going so we can always provide um, circumstances that is in her favor. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And you made it, made her aware of this today. So she understands that it's there. Yes. It's been confusing for her. Yes. Glad that you've made her aware of this today. So she understands that she's protected and, and being watched by you. 
Yes, she's been very curious about this. Yes, she has. Is there anything else that you'd like to share about this device or maybe your connection with her? What is your connection to this one? She's a star seed from us. Yes. And yes. she's very she's watched over, very protected. Yes. And she's she... had many she's had many reincarnations there. Yes. Yes. And this device is how you track her and help her protect her? Yes, it's for it's for benevolent purposes. Mm -hmm. And can she connect with you when she needs help and assistance for this device? She probably will be able to after this session. Beautiful. Thank you for that. What else can we understand about this device? This Your connection to her is very interesting to me. What else would you like to share with us? We keep record of her energy. Mm -hmm. And we try to assist her with raising our energy. Yes. Beautiful. And could you tell her, is there anything you could share with her about what her mission or purpose is here on this earth at this time? To bring joy. Yes. To lighten up people. Mm -hmm. To raise vibration. Yes. To anyone around her. Mm -hmm. um, in can immediately. She helps ignite the light in them. Yes. And she reminds them, not in a conscious way, but in a subconscious way. Mm -hmm. She reminds them of their light. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And is what she's doing with art and creating, is that how she's going to anchor in that light? Absolutely. Perfectly yeah. on track. Yes. And is there anything else you'd like to share with her about those, what she needs to, to learn or maybe do? What else she does she need? She needs to need? meditate. Beautiful. As yes, she does. She's stubborn, very stubborn when it comes to meditation. Yes. And also, since we removed that entity that was keeping her from ungrounding, her connection to the earth would be important. Absolutely. Yes. yes. This will also release her phobia of spiders. Mm-hmm. And we are, we will help her with that. Beautiful. Yeah. And, and let me ask you this. Are you able with this device, are you able to scan her body and find out where any blockages are? That's the one, not what this device is used for. No. No. I see. Is there, do you have an, a device in the ear, the left ear mainly? She has an itching sensation there as well. That is not of us. Beautiful. We'll look into that. Thank you for letting us know. Is there anything else that you would like to share with her about your connection? It's really great to speak with you. She needs to... After today, she will be able to maintain a much better diet. She's not good at dieting mm -hmm. because of the alcohol consumption. Yes. So she will eat late at night, which is mm -hmm. not very good. Mm -hmm. And her choice of food is not good. Yes. So she needs to eat more greens, mm -hmm. live food. Yes. Less meat. Yes. And she does drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. And this is good. She drinks lots of water. This is what has helped her all these yeah. years. Yes. And is this water good water? Good charged water? She blesses her water. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is there anything else that she should avoid or in her diet? She needs to avoid processed foods. Yes. She eats out too much. Mm -hmm. But that's her fiance. Yes. And so these eating out, is there any particular restaurants that are decent for her to go to? She knows where they are. Or sh she should avoid all of them. She knows She knows where the restaurants are. She likes this one particular restaurant that doesn't serve good food. Oh, I see. I see. Because of the people. Yes. Can, can you help her with her choices in that? 
We have been. Okay. She's done better. Beautiful. She's eating a lot more fish. Beautiful. Is there is there anything else you'd like to share with you, with her? She's on the right track. Mm-hmm. She, when she does her art, she just needs to meditate before. Yes. And quit worrying about the outcome. Let go of the outcome. Yes. And can we explain to her how simple meditation is? So she could have an easier time at meditating. She used to meditate every day. Yes. It's the dark energy that has been um, distracting. Mm-hmm. And she'll have an easier time again since we cleaned out that dark energy? Yes, yes, most definitely. Beautiful. Thank you for that. What is this amazing talking to you? Is there anything else you'd like to share with her? To, to not worry. Worrying and uses the imagination to create yes. the things she does not want. Mm-hmm. And she knows this. Yes. And she has settled down here lately. So yes. She's you, doing better. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you for that. Do you need to explain to her how that works? We're creating those thoughts, creating creates it? Or does she know? This one has studied very much spirituality and mm-hmm. pretty much knows everything. We have guided her to books, CDs, websites, your station, Mm -hmm. and many more. She has the knowledge. She doesn't have the motivation. Yes. But she will after this. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I feel so much love coming from you guys. We I love you. Appreciate it. Is there anything else you'd like to share with her? She needs to stay in her true joy. Just stay in joy. And yes. she has learned to, we finally got her to oh, turn off the news. <laughs> yes. So um, she has broken that habit. She. We finally got her off of social media. She is not on social media. Um, she can get back on it for her art purposes would be good, but social media can be detrimental mm-hmm. to the mind. Yes. Sure can. Is I have a few questions that maybe you can answer, or maybe the higher self needs to answer these questions. She was wondering about her thyroid. Was that able to be restored she will not need that in 5d i see is there anything that she could do to help that in this 3d reality we're in right now until we switch just to take her medicine daily yes at the same time and are some of us already in that 5d you're in and out of it every day yes I feel that sometimes. Yes, thank you for that. When you're in your happiest, joyous moments, you're in there. When you are in your worry, depression, sadness, you are still in 3D. Yes. You Um, are, the veil is thin. Yes, it is. Talking about the medications for her thyroid, is she on the best thing for the thyroid? Okay. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And is there anything that you guys can do? She would like her eyesight and liver restored and any other vital organs with DNA upgrades or the cells replenished. Is that something you can do? Eyes are done. Beautiful. How about her liver? This will take some time. Yes. And she there... has 
looked into Edgar Casey. Edgar Casey method, and she needs to do that. Beautiful. And is and that's what she needs to look into to help heal and restore her liver. It's castor oil and a heating pad. Yes, beautiful. Thank you for that. Is there anything else that we can do to upgrade her in any way? It will take some time, but we are replenishing ourselves. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And was the DNA damaged from the jab that she had? She's already asked uh -huh. for it to be removed, and we have removed that. Beautiful. And is there anything else that she needs to do to help heal and restore any damage caused? Diet. Exercise. Yes. Beautiful. Less mm. and less alcohol. Yes. And she'll notice a difference after this session today because we yeah. removed the one entity. Beautiful. Yes. Alcohol is poison. Thank you. Is there is there anything else that you would like to share or we complete? We are complete. Beautiful. I want to thank you so much for coming through today and helping us understand some of these issues. And I'm going to ask the Palladians to recede. You're very welcome. I'm going to ask the Palladians to recede back into the time, space, reality, dimension, and location in which they belong. With so much love and so much thanks, and you'll be able to connect with them anytime you need answers. We're going to continue with our scan. I'm really thankful for the Palladians coming through today and speaking with us. Let's continue with our scan and scan the body, looking for any other low level, any dense energy that should not be there, feelings or sensations, pain or discomfort. She has sweaty hands, but that is from the energy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Otherwise, everything looks good. What, what can you share with her about the itchy sensation she gets in that left ear? What is causing that? She needs to go to the ear doctor. I see. And is there something that they need to look at? What She's is got water in her ear? I see. I see. Is there anything that she can do naturally to remove that water? Or is that something that she needs to go to the doctor for? They will give her the proper ear drops for that. And okay. it's not over the counter. I see. Beautiful. So we'll make sure that she goes to the ear doctor for that. Okay. And so her body is... She can try blow drying. Mm -hmm. That may help. Yeah. Okay. And that won't be painful for her ear to blow dry, the ear? No, keep it on cool. I see. Beautiful. So just the air movement will pull that through the in drum. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. So her body's clear. She has no other, nothing else that we need to remove today. It is clear. I want you to tell me what you see, experience, sense, or feel. I see a white gate. Beautiful. Tell me more about that white gate. It's, a, it's not even have a fence attached to it. Yes. It's like got pointy wood at the top. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. It's just a gate door. Uh-huh. What's this gate made of? I don't know if it's wood or plastic. Yes. Let's, let's walk up to that gate. When you walk up to the gate, what does that handle look like? It's black. Beautiful. Place your hand on that handle. We're going to open that gate and we're going to walk in, close the gate behind us, and we're going to be in the place we need to see today. 
How does that handle feel in your hand? Hold. Beautiful. As I count from three to one, we're going to open the gate. We're going to close it behind us. And we'll be in that place that we need to see today. Three, opening the gate, grasping the handle. Two, walking through the gate. And one, shutting the gate behind us. Tell me what you see, experience, sense, or feel. Like an ocean. Beautiful. As you look down at your feet, what do you sense about your feet? I'm little. Mm -hmm. I'm barefoot. Yes. And there's lots of flowers, like sunflowers. Beautiful. How does that ground feel on your feet? What does that feel like? Soft. Mm -hmm. But I'm way up high on a cliff. Beautiful. It's a up. vast ocean. It's vast. Beautiful. Looks like cliffs of mower or something like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Tell me more about yourself in this place. When you scan up your body, what clothes are you wearing? I'm just like a little sundress. I'm uh, a girl, little yes. girl. Yes. Yeah. You Long get a, hair. Do you get a sense of what age you are? I'm about five. Mm -hmm. hmm. Imagine, if you will, a magic mirror. How does your face appear to you? Do you look like you did as a little girl? I do. Or somebody else. Beautiful. And are you carrying anything in your hands or wearing any jewelry? Not that I can tell. Are you wearing anything on your head? Got pigtails. Beautiful. I don't even know why I'm there. Because I'm all alone. Beautiful. And as you're on this grassy cliff, with the beautiful sunflowers, barefoot in the ground, soft ground. What else do you notice about this place? See the vast ocean? Yes, smell the sea. There's something danger about that cliff, though. Yes. It's hard to see because of all the sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Using all of our noting, using all of our knowing, we can scan that cliff. What is dangerous about that cliff? It's super high. Yes. Do you, do you sense where you'd like to go in this place? I'm running in the opposite direction. Of the cliff? Yeah. Beautiful. I know it's there. Yes. Let's run through there. I'm just, and it's like sunset. Uh huh. Beautiful. Like I'm running towards the sunset. Yes. So the sun must rise in the east where the ocean is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Let's collapse time and space. Where is it that you're running to? I really don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Tell me what happens next as you're running towards that sunset. What happens? I come back into my body. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. How does that feel to come back into your body? I'm floating above my body. Uh huh. And my mom is over me praying. Yes. And there's a doctor there. I see. Where's your body at? Where's On a table. Body? Mm -hmm. What kind of table is this? Like a, just a gurney? Mm -hmm. Or an examination table? Yes. Is your mother's praying? What is it that she's praying for? That I live. Yes. What else do you notice? But I wake up. Mm -hmm. 
and I see her. Yes. So I get, I guess I went back into my body. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So you ran from that cliff back into your body? Yeah, I don't know why I was there. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Using all of your knowing, what was it that you're in this gurney having the doctor look over? Oh, it was when I was, um, I was, okay. Mm -hmm. I was four years old. Yes. And I ate, I ate a rotten egg. Uh-huh. I must have had a near-death experience or something. Yes. Using all of our knowing. Was it this rotten egg that caused this near death experience? Yes. Mm -hmm. We can ask any questions of our mom in this place or the doctor. What do they, do they have any messages for you? The doctor gave me some kind of shot. Mm -hmm. And my mom was just praying. Yes. And where did you get this egg from? Who's this egg from, this rotten egg? It was a friend up the street. Mm -hmm. A girlfriend. We were just playing. Yes. And I... I don't know why I would eat a rotten egg, but hmm. huh. I fell down her stairs. You fell down the friend's stairs? Yeah. I was yeah. getting sick. Mm -hmm. She had really tall stairs. Hmm. What happens next? I'm laying in my mom's bed mm -hmm. and I'm vomiting. Yes. Then what happens? I think I lose oxygen. Uh, yes. All I can remember, recall. And as you lost oxygen, what happened? Tell me what happened when you lost oxygen. I lost consciousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you lost consciousness, is that when you came out of the body? I think that's where I was running in the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like free. Yes. Yeah, no pain. Beautiful. Yes. What else? What else do we need to learn or take from this scene? She has seen this scene. Yes. But she doesn't know what it is. Mm -hmm. and why is it that you're showing her this scene? To show her that there is definitely afterlife. Yes. It's pure it's, bliss. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Is there anything else that she needs to learn or understand about seeing this scene? The reason you chose it today? Oh, the love of love of her mothers. Yes. It's very deep. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And now she understands that love of the mother? Yes. Beautiful. She doesn't always show it. Yes. 
but it's there. Is there anything else that you want her to know about this? Be careful what you eat. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for that. She needs to eat healthier. Yes. Is and it... she will. She will. Is it? Is there any other scenes that you would like to show her? Is there anything else that you need to show her? She wanted to have her focus today on healing. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. I will visit her. She's not so concerned with their past lives. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yes. So, so if... You don't need to show her anything else today. Let's focus Not on stuff today. No. Yes. Beautiful. Let's focus on healing, healing this one's body. Is there any other healing or anything else we need to do for her body today? She needs to clear some tension in her shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's and just a tension. Yes. How would you like to clear this tension? I think with the purple light. Beautiful. It's connected I'll... with the neck. Yes. And it's just tension, nothing that we have to clear? Just tension. Beautiful. I'm going to strike the tuning fork for the purple light. Let's focus that frequency into that tension, releasing that tension. Feel that tension releasing. The shoulders are relaxing. Feel that connection being reestablished. That relaxation from that purple frequency as it swirls out. We're releasing all that tension. Releasing it to high frequency and vibration. No longer needed. We don't need that tension there. It's from school. Beautiful. From her studies at school is where this tension was come from? Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And what can she do moving forward to release any tension that builds up in these areas? Yoga, meditation. Yes. yes. She used to do yoga almost mm -hmm. every day. Yes. Why has it that she has fallen out of that? There are a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. She mainly was school. Yes. College. It was seven days a week study. Mm -hmm. And then she's been remodeling her house. Mm -hmm. And then the dark forces like to come in and um, do, the, do a number. Yes. What does she need to understand about protections moving forward to keep her energy high so they can't move in and do what they need to do? She needs to practice her. daily meditation mm -hmm. and set in an intention yes. to put protection around her. And even at nighttime, even her house, mm -hmm. she can go as far as her neighborhood. And what, prote what protection works best for her? What should she use? Gold light. Mm -hmm. Surround herself with that gold light. Yeah. Gold or pink. Yes, beautiful. Is there anything else that she should do for protection? She thanks us every day. Beautiful. She thanks her spirit team mm -hmm. every morning. For giving gratitude. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Not just for her. Her neighbors, her family, her friends, her animals. Yes. We protect. Mm -hmm. Is it, is there any other healing or help required by her physical body? Not at this time. Beautiful. Can you check, make sure her chakras are spinning and open and balanced as they should be? They are running full speed. Beautiful. 
uh, we had talked to the Palladians earlier, and they said they were moving and working on upgrades. It's just going to take some time. Is there anything else that she needs to know about these upgrades or anything else that needs opened up for her? Not at this time. Mm -hmm. Is there any spiritual or psychic gifts that she needs to tune in to? Yes. And her mother has this too. Mm -hmm. Um, but she has to meditate. Yes. I think she knows. Yes. That she has some psychic abilities, but and some clairvoyance, but she has to meditate. She has to, she has to still the mind. Yes. And I just want you to confirm for me: we removed that entity that was causing the her from being ungrounded. Were her being able to be grounded now help with that? Yes. Beautiful. And that entity had told us that he caused the phobia of spiders, and that was the reason that she wouldn't walk barefoot through the grass. Has that been cleared? It's really all in her mind. Mm -hmm. where, did, where did that fear of spiders come from? Was it just from that entity or is it from something else? The entity knew about it. Mm -hmm. And the entity expanded on it. Yes. What She's can we always had a fear of spiders. Yes. What can we show her about this fear of spiders, where it came from, so we can release that today? The spider is actually a spiritual creature of, of yes. the web. Mm-hmm. spinning a web yes and she wanted to experience fear of mm -hmm. experience fear in this lifetime yes and that's what she chose uh-huh and she wanted it to remind her that she needs to move forward i see she's been stagnant with school yes and now she's able to move forward. Beautiful. The spiders will be less and less. Beautiful. So she can release this fear of spiders now? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Is, is she's actually any... she's actually start she's actually started to, to catch the spiders and throw them outside. <laughs> Beautiful. Protect them. Beautiful. Get, getting braver. Yes, good. Very good. Is is there any anything else you need to understand about the spider so she could release this fear? Or? As long as she keeps moving forward and not become stagnant, she, mm -hmm. she 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 can be lazy. Beautiful. Is. Is there any other AI or implants that are not for her best and highest good that we can remove today, or do we cover those? We covered them. Beautiful. Thank you. Is there any black magic that we can remove today from this one? No. Beautiful. Thank you. Is there any negative energy cords that are not for her best and highest good that we can remove today? No. Thank you. The uh, addiction she has to alcohol and smoking, was it solely caused by that entity we released, the entity of joy? The no. soul. No, she had pre planned to have this challenge. Mm -hmm. It's not just in this lifetime, but several lifetimes of addiction. Yes. So that when she transfers over to the other side, mm -hmm. she is able to help spiritually with those in the 3D, with mm -hmm. addictions. Beautiful. And now that she's experienced this, are we able to release this? Yes. Yes. 
Is there anything else that she needs to do additional to help release this if she chooses? She needs to replace the time she's drinking with healthy habits. Mm -hmm. And it needs to be It needs to be like daily. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What healthy habits should she use? Yoga classes. Mm -hmm. Getting into nature. Yes. Meet up with the friends that don't drink. Yes. Art. Lots of art. Mm -hmm. Bring out that creative side to her. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She won't need to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? Go ahead. She's just got, she she has an exhibit coming up. Yes. She Beautiful. She needs to get on it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is there anything else that she can do to help release those further? The meditation and the yoga will be so helpful because we will come through and help her with that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And as well with the smoking, the same thing with the smoking, she can release that. She can release that. Mm -hmm. By using the same habits, healthy habits. Yes. The gym. Yes. She loves the gym. Yes. She just has to go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And you'll help to help to guide her and, and help her with these changes. We will help her with her motivation, what she needs. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. Is it appropriate to ask the remainder of her questions today? Yes. Beautiful. We had talked to the Palladians about the hyperthyroidism and the thyroid. Is there anything else that she needs to understand about that so she can help to heal it or assist in any way? Can you repeat the question? Is there anything else she needs to understand about the thyroid? We had already talked to the Palladians about it, but is there anything else that she needs to do to help heal the, the symptoms she has from not having the thyroid? Yes, she just needs to take her medicine at the same time daily. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Is there anything else you want to share with her about her health or anything that's being upgraded or healed at this time? We guided her here to you. She has another session, uh -huh. but it's in the future. Beautiful. Thank this you for is that. what she, she. This is what she needed, mm -hmm. and we we guided her to you. Beautiful. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yes. I love to. I love to help. Yes. You are very good. Thank you. So, since we found out what star galaxy she came from today, she'd like to know how many lives has she lived here on Earth. S several, many. Yeah. Yes. Many, many. Penny. She loved the medieval time. Yes. It was mystical. Uh huh. Like fairies. Yes. That was her favorite period. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share with her any more about those times that she very much enjoyed? It was village where she lived, a village. Mm -hmm. And she used to sell her artwork along the river mm -hmm. it was in germany yes beautiful thank you for reminding her of that today that'll help her yes. out greatly yes she was very happy beautiful is there anything else that you would like to share with her about any of those lifetimes on earth
she's lived in Greece. Mm -hmm. Alexandria. Yes. She loves Greece. She's been there twice. She knows. Mm -hmm. Centering. Yes. It's a home. She, when she goes there, she knows it's like home. Yes. It feels like home to her. It's a remembrance, yes. Yeah, beautiful. I think, think a lot of us have those experiences, different places we go. <laughs> Absolutely. She had yeah. the same experience when she went to Italy. Uh -huh. She loves Europe. Yes. Because that's <laughs> the majority of her lifetimes have been in Europe. Beautiful. Anything else she needs to know about those lifetimes on Earth to help her in this lifetime she's living now? She was a great musician, and she's been a musician in this life. Mm -hmm. It comes so natural to her. She doesn't understand why. Mm -hmm. Why do I just pick up a harmonica and I can just play without any lessons? Like I've been playing for years. Mm -hmm. she, these are talents from other lifetimes. Same with the art. Beautiful. Same with the guitar. Yes. Anything she puts her hands to, artistically or creative, she will pick it up faster than the average person. Yes. She's a very beautiful creator. <laughs> Indeed. Mm-hmm. Anything else you need to share with her about their lives on her? Or is that all? I think, that, I think that's good. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. I think we know the answer to this, but is the artist path the right move for her? Absolutely. Yes. She never thought she could make money at it. <laughs> <laughs> Most artists fear that. You don't yeah. have to starve to be an artist. No. No. We oh. we we had her put her painting on eBay. Uh huh. And she sold it for a thousand dollars. Wow, it's impressive. Yeah. It's a good show. Is there anything else you'd like to share with her about her creative artistic abilities? Expand. Mm hmm. Can you give her an idea how she should expand? We have showed her many expansions. Yes. She has taken note of all of them. She just has to do it. Yes. And she is getting ready to start that next week. And we are very excited for her. But she needs to meditate every day, every morning. Beautiful. We'll make sure to remind her of that. Is there anything that you can do to help her re remind her and guide her to meditate? She is very stubborn. But I think after this session, which she will hopefully listen to over and over, that will make a difference. Beautiful. We nudge her. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for all your guidance and protection. Yes. Who are her main spirit guides? Her grandmother. Mm -hmm. and does her grandmother have any messages for her today? Because she's just very proud of her. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. That's her main mean protector mm -hmm. is there any other guides that we need to meet today or talk to not at this time beautiful would this one like to ask her grandmother anything while we're in this place she talks to her all the time Yes. Yes. Beautiful. And does her grandmother 
have any other messages for her today? She says, thanks for getting the pendulum. Mm -hmm. That was her guiding her to get that. Beautiful. So she could get messages. Yes. Anything else? I think we are complete. Beautiful. I want to thank the grandmother for coming through today and conversing with us. Is there anything else that this one needs to know today or are we complete? Just know that you are on the right path. Listen for the whispers of the universe. We are here to guide you. We are here protecting you. And we are very proud of you. And we love you. Beautiful. I want to thank you so much for that. Yes. And anything else or are we complete? We are complete. Beautiful. I want to thank you so much for coming through today and conversing with us. Yes. I want to I want to thank the Pleiadians as well and also the grandmother that came through and spoke with us today. I want to thank you all for all your help, healing, and wisdom that you provided for us today. And now I'm asking the higher self to recede with much love and much thanks for all the information that they've given to us today. We're asking the higher self to recede back into the time, space, reality, dimension, and location in which they belong with so much love and so much thanks.